So how did you get involved with uh, Special Olympics? It was through, uh, I went to Memorial University in Newfoundland, and I did an adaptive physical education program there. And yeah, I volunteered as part of my program with, it was actually a program adjacent to Special Olympics, but that's, it was, Special Olympics is one of those kind of things that is, uh, as an organization, everybody knows the name. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, Special Olympics, I know that, but you don't really right. know. But I was just like, oh, okay, I know what that is. Uh, and then through a co-op placement, I worked with Special Olympics. And then after I graduated school, a position came open, and then 22 years later, here, here I am. Wow, so you've been working with Special Olympics for 22 years. Yeah. Holy moly, yeah, yeah. man! That's crazy. Good for you. Yeah, yeah, no, but I, I, it's I've crossed, I've gone down many roads. So I, I actually started sort of the reverse of what many people do. I started at the national national office in Toronto, like right out of university, and I was there for a number of years. And I was um, executive director in Newfoundland, where I'm originally from. I was, I was executive director at Special Olympics Newfoundland for six years, and then moved out to Alberta, and I've been here for I think over eleven right now. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay, you just did something that most... I just died at this. That's another Max City Morning Show done. It's so ballistic! <laughs> Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. Really?